Hey, I'm Dave Chan. I'm the Doctor of Safety Officer here at the California Academy of Sciences. And it's, uh, I'm going to show you around our dive locker this afternoon. And, uh, and then we're going to go for a dive. So this is our dive locker. You can see Steinhardt Aquarium Dive Operations. And uh, I'm going to come on in. So this is our dive locker. Um, you can see we've got our uh, stormtrooper who looks over us. And uh, he sits actually on top of our compressor. So we've got our own fill station that we use to fill all of our own tanks. We keep all of our tanks here on the rack. We've got about 40 scuba cylinders, and believe it or not, in any given day, we can go through about uh, half of them. So uh, it's important for us to always have those things filled and make sure that uh, um, our divers have the, the best stuff. So, you see we're almost a full service dive shop. Um, we've got all of our regulators here. We service these uh, twice a year. Um, BCs as well. Everything uh, that we dive in is oceanic. They're our dive sponsorship. So uh, we're lucky enough to get gear for free from Oceanic. Um, if you come on this way, you can start to see uh, we've got a full service bench as well. So uh, this is a cylinder that actually we, we did a visual inspection on and it did fail. So we're going to cut this up, turn it into a bell for ourselves, and then uh, we can record all the information that we do on our laptop. So that sits on a swing arm so that we can keep our, our workbench um, nice and clear. So yeah, we even got a pressure pot so when we uh, do certain work we need to make sure that our cameras, our, our computers are properly sealed. We can actually stick it in our pressure pot, take it down to 30 feet and, uh, and then make sure it's all watertight. Okay, we're back at the California Academy of Sciences. Um, and this time we're at our, our reef tank uh, where you can see getting ready to do a dive. So why don't we go on over and let's meet our, our dive tender, George Bell. Everybody, this is, uh, this is George. He's going to be my service tender. Today what we're doing is we're getting ready to do our afternoon dive program. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to have actually George help me suit up. And he's going to operate our wireless uh, communications device. So. This little black box here, this, this thing does a lot of magic. And it, what it does, it actually takes my voice, sends it to the, the public um, PA system so that people downstairs can hear me when I'm talking, and then I can hear them when they ask questions as well. George is, uh, plays the key role of making sure that I have enough air and that uh, I'm not going to run out. So what he does, is he actually has a handy dandy gauge here, and you can see I have about 2,000 pounds which is enough, uh, enough air for me to do my next dive and because uh, this is all surface supply. So we actually run the, the line from our tank sitting here on the cart over to the mask and I actually breathe from uh, this tank here on the surface rather than the one that I wear on the back. So George, you ready to head on over to uh, suit up? Alright, come on this way folks. So having a surface tender is actually a really important part of diving. Um, here at the Academy, um, and in general, you should never dive alone. So George is my surface tender. He's my buddy while I'm diving. As you can see, George is helping me get on the, our rig for diving the uh, coral reef. And this is a special rig that we use when we're diving uh, to do the show. So you can see we have just a, a very small harness here that fits on me. I don't wear any sort of a buoyancy compensation device. I have to be weighted properly in order to, to be able to dive this tank. Now one thing you'll notice is that even though I'm diving from surface supply from our cylinder over on the cart, I have a tank here on my back. This is what we call a pony bottle. And this is a built-in safety device. So in the event that something happens up here and I run out of air, I actually have a valve right here that I can open up. So you can see I can open this up, and once I do that, I'm now able to breathe off of my pony bottle. 
So that's just a built-in safety device that we have. And this is the mask that I'm going to be diving. This is actually called a, a Diveator 2 <laughs> Aga mask. And this is the, the kind of mask that you often see in the movies in Hollywood. Because it has a nice big open face mask and you can actually see uh, a person's face and recognize them. So if I was somebody cool like Matthew McConaughey, you'd be able to see that it was me in here. So. Now on the inside of this mask, let me move uh, the straps here. We have a couple of interesting things. So you can see there's a nose piece in here. That nose piece I can use to actually clear my ears so as I go down deeper and deeper into our tank, um, I can equalize the pressure. And then more importantly, I have a, a little red microphone here. This is a voice activated microphone that lets me talk to the public. And so as I speak, um, I get actually broadcast out over the, the PA system downstairs. So now you guys get to see what it looks like to have this mask. So I'm going to put this mask on and then I'm going to hop in the tank. So hopefully you guys will do the dive with me. So we do actually have a second diver upstairs. Of course, as many of you probably know, it's always safer to dive in teams. The second diver upstairs is responsible for making sure that Dave can breathe and talk to us, but also to feed the fish for us. So what we're seeing right now, what's on the menu today? What are they getting at this meeting? Well, I think uh, they're actually getting the aforementioned pellets. I can see some of them already in the water now. And, uh, Maybe it's a fish flake as well, so it's spiraling a flake, I think. All right, so uh, it looks like, you know, we're spreading the food out across this exhibit. Are we just trying to make them swim back and forth for our entertainment? Why are we spreading the food out like that? Believe it or not, this is not their daily swim class that they have to uh, attend. Uh, we try to distribute it along the surface of the tank uh, in various areas because we do have a lot of fish in here. We want to make sure that everybody gets an opportunity to feed because a lot of these big fish are much faster than some of these smaller Indians that you see uh, walking their way across. So we have to try to introduce the food near our circulation jets so that the, the food gets distributed, blown into the tank really fast, and they all get a chance to feed. Oh, that's pretty cool, and if you're watching, especially if you're up front, you can see the little pellet sinking and the little fish aren't getting food, too. Okay, well, this has been uh, Diving with Dave at the California Academy of Sciences. I hope you had a good time and enjoyed the show.